types of column column section for local stability are based on the local buckling so we can divide the columns into three different types in case of columns when they are subjected to flexural loading so then we can divide it into compact section non compact section or cylinder section but if the sec column is subjected to only axial compression no eccentricity or no flexural load so in that case we can classify it as a non cylinder and cylinder columns or cylinder section so let's see what are the cylinder section or compact or non compact section and how we determine whether it is a compact section or non compact section a compact section is one that has sufficiently thick elements so that it is capable of developing a fully plastic stress distribution before buckling so in case of compact section for example we have a angle section so the thickness of the angle will be sufficiently large the legs are the elements of this angle will be sufficiently large that they will not buckle locally before the plastic stress distribution fully plastic stress distribution mean the whole section will yield before the local buckling so for a compression member to be classified as a compact its flanges must be continuously connected to its web and the width to thickness ratio of the of its compression elements may not be greater than the limiting ratio lambda p so it should be less than lambda p the b over t ratio of the element of this section mean this b and this t their ratio b over t ratio should be less than lambda p if it is so then we can say it is a compact section so to check whether it is a compact section or not we can use this table when it is subjected to axial as well as flexural loading so if b over t is greater than this value for this section for flange of the w section or flange of channel section or flange of half flange of t section so in that case if the b over t ratio is less than this value so we can say it is a compact section and if it is more than this value but less than lambda r value this one then it is a non compact section we can see in the next slide so non compact section or non cylinder section are those for which the yield stress can be reached in some but not all of its compression elements so for example here we have a section i section so in that case if we apply the load so some part of this section will yield for example this portion is yielding but the remaining portion is not yielded mean the stress distribution in this section will not be same and there will be local points or some points where the stress will reach up to its yield strength but the other section or the other points will buckle before they reach the yield stress so in that case to classify a section as a compact non compact section their slenderness ratio or b over t ratio should be greater than lambda p but less than lambda r or we can say b over t is greater than lambda p but less than lambda r so if this is so we can say it is a non compact or non cylinder section so just like if we compare with the short column or intermediate column so compact section is similar to short column where the yielding occur in the overall section and similarly in case of compact section the whole section will be under yielding but in case of non compact section or non cylinder section some part will be yielding and some part will not be yielding it is it is we can say comparable to the intermediate column where the column buckles but some of the section or some part of the column will yield so next is cylinder column so this is similar to we can say long column so in case of cylinder columns the elements of the section are such that their width to thickness ratio is greater than lambda r their b over t ratio is greater than lambda r and the material will stay in the elastic range no part of the section will yield so for that we can use this table and this is for axial compression if we have axial compression load so we will use this table to check the limiting value of lambda r but if there is a flexural load then we will use this value lambda r value to classify it as a compact non compact or cylinder column this one so for example for this channel section if b over t ratio is greater than this value then we can say it is a cylinder column or cylinder section but if it is less than this one then it is non cylinder section so here we need to know that we use two terms section and column so the first classification that we have studied that was based on column when we consider overall buckling of the member 
So that is for column. Then we say it is a short column, long column, or intermediate column. Short column if the slenderness ratio is too less and the whole material will yield. Intermediate column if the slenderness ratio is in between 30 and RC and some part of the section will yield and the column will buckle. And cylinder column or long column if the slenderness ratio is more than RC value. So that is for column. We see the overall member. But for compact, non-compact, we use the term section. So here we only see section and the part of section we see if the slenderness ratio of the part of the section is less than lambda p, then it is a compact section and the whole section will yield. And if it is more than lambda p and less than lambda r, then it is a non-compact section or non-slender section. So in that case, some part of the section will yield and some part of the section will not yield. And if it is more than lambda r, the b over t or the slenderness ratio of part of the section is more than lambda r, then we can say the whole section will remain within the elastic range and we can classify it as a slender compression section. So this is the classification based on the local instability or local buckling. <laughs>